Magic Mask version two absolutely blew my mind and I'm gonna show you exactly why. Magic Mask just gone insane. In Resolve 20, in the color page, there is Magic Mask version two. And if you're familiar with Magic Mask, it's already pretty cool with the small asterisk that adjusting the mask has been kind of rough. And so in this version, what they've done is made it way better, noticeably better, just out of the box. And Blackmagic has given us a way to paint out and adjust the mask, which is something that was sorely lacking from before. Y'all people don't believe me. Let's look. So here I have a shot of a lady walking across a bridge. I don't know why I always have to tell you what the shot is because you can clearly see it here in the color page. This icon right here is Magic Mask. And by default, it's going to use AI Magic Mask 2. By the way, this is only available in the studio version of Resolve, the paid version of Resolve. So if you got the free version, well, you're going to miss out. Studio version, I heartily recommend that. So let's say that we want to cut this lady out or put fog behind her or put text behind her or any kind of visual effects or motion graphics, or maybe we just want to color correct her separately in the color page. All we have to do is boop, just boop whatever we want to select, and it's going to automatically select that. Now, depending on what you booped, it's going to select different parts of your subject. So this just kind of selected her sweater, which is crazy that it's differentiating between the sweater and the straps on her like overall things, but we'll just select some more of this. And there we go. Now we've kind of selected our subject here. Now this is in fast mode, which is basically make a selection and don't really care about the edges very much. Just have, have kind of a rough selection. We'll notice that it's kind of jaggedy here on her hair, but we can go over here to where this quality says faster or better and select better. And look what happens. It does a pretty dang crazy job of selecting all of the hair, selecting these edges and dang, like, Look at that. It does a pretty good job. By the way, to get this red overlay, I have this little icon selected. So you can't really see what's going on unless you have that selected, but it's pretty great. Pretty great. Okay. But this is just one frame. Anybody can select one frame. Let's, let's, uh, let's see what this does as far as tracking. So I'm just going to hit this little track forward and backward button and see how it goes. It's tracking and it's doing a pretty good job of selecting her, making that whole clip selection. It's pretty great. Even look at the, look at the hair flying. It's selecting the hair as it flies. Look at that. The hair is flying and it's selecting the hair, like all the pieces of the hair. What the heck is going on? Look at that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, is this perfect? No, but it's pretty great selecting this hair. So one thing that it's doing is it's kind of selecting inside of this hoop earring, which isn't great. Some of the details down here, if I play this back, uh, are kind of flickering and that kind of thing, which that's been a problem with Magic Mask. And any time that you have a automatic rotoscoping tool, you have some of those problems. So that's, you know, sort of to be expected, especially with holes and everything, which you can go through and refine this, but it makes a pretty good selection. One thing that I want to point out that's new is if we want to, we can paint this selection. So here we have right here on the hoop earring, it's just selecting your face, but for a few frames, it kind of fills in that hoop. And so what we can do is on a frame where it's kind of selecting things that we don't want, we can go here to these new little thingies and we can grab this minus brush and I can hold control and click and drag to set the size of the brush and we can paint this out. Now, uh, I don't think there is a control for how soft the brush is, which maybe I'm wrong, but that would be really great to have that. So it is limited a little bit in that way, but it is really nice to be able to just paint out the things that we want to paint out really quickly. And we can do some basic fixing of this mat here, which is really, really nice. So we can kind of fix stuff a little bit and it keeps that paint as I go through this. Now, as I play this back, we don't have as much trouble there with the earring. Of course, I would have to go through and adjust it a little more, but it does a pretty good job selecting her, right? And of course, the idea here is that we make the selection, then we do something with it. So in the color page, that's just going to basically make your selection for this node. And so I can do something like push up the offset and color correct her separately from the rest of the shot. Or I can switch this mask to outside mode like this. And I could do something like make everything a little bit more blue and have a pretty nice, pretty nice cutout, including the hair. Look at that. That's just stupid. 
What the heck is going on? <laughs> Ridiculous job this is doing with that hair. You know how long that would take to do that manually? Stupid. <laughs> it's so cool. If you're wanting to make some selections for uh, localized color correction, stuff like that, man, so easy. Let's try on another shot. So here we have another lady with wild hair, just because I'm just really impressed by how well it can make that kind of selection. Let's just see how well this does. So I'm just going to add a couple dots here and see what our selection is. Make sure that our highlight is on here. We'll just select all of this. There we go. And we'll switch this to better. And that's going to select a lot of the hair here. Crazy, crazy. And let's just see how this goes. Let's just see how it rolls. And while that tracks, I wanna tell you that we have a new mini course available. It's totally free. You can get it right here or in the link in the description below. And it's all about making motion graphics in Resolve. And you can walk through a few techniques that I use to make really cool motion graphics. They're super easy. All you have to do is follow along with me. Even if you're not super into Fusion, it's really simple. And then you'll have those tools in your tool belt. And I guarantee you're gonna reuse them for years and years to come. So click that link, get that free mini course. Okay, so this is tracked. Let's just see how she rides. Look at that craziness. What the heck is going on? That's wild. <laughs> okay, so is this perfect? No. Um, there's some stuff here. It's like not selecting part of the camera here, which again, we can kind of go through and we can easily kind of paint this if we want to, if it's just a few frames. We can also just combine this with another window or something if we want to, but it does a pretty good job of isolating her from the background. And again, let's just flip this, make this really blue so we can see the difference here. I mean, it looks pretty great. Isn't that wild? What the heck? <laughs> it just blows me away how good this is. There's some problems with it, right? There's some problems like right here, but you can fix that. The edges are nuts though. Okay, let's try something else. Here's kind of a longer clip with multiple subjects and everything. And so let's just see how this goes. This just came up on the stock footage site when I was looking for flippy hair and I'm like, I like this shot too. So let's just try it. So boop, even though there isn't flippy hair in this shot, it's still going to be fun. Okay. Here's something crazy. You can just select the hair. It doesn't even have to select the person. It can just select her hair. Let's just try that. Let's, let's track that back and forth and see what, see what's going on. See what's going down. That's crazy. It looks like she has red hair. Perfectly cuts out her hand, even with the motion blur and stuff in it. This stuff's getting crazy. So yeah, same thing. We could take this and, you know, no one would think that you changed her hair color here. You'd just be like, she has purple hair. That's crazy. That's so crazy. <laughs> if you aren't blown away by this, you're spoiled. You're spoiled and ungrateful. <laughs> So now I know a lot of you are probably asking, is this infusion? The answer is right now, no, it's not infusion. We only have the Magic Mask version one. I'm sure they're going to make it for fusion. It's obviously very, very helpful for rotoscoping and that kind of thing. But we can actually use this and export a mat and bring it into fusion and use it. So how do we do that? I'm just gonna trim this a little bit so that it's a little less work for us to deal with here. So here we have her purple hair and we'll just do this, this little bit right here, which just looks so good. Dang it. It's frustrating how good it looks. <laughs> okay. So we have the selection here and we're just going to drag a color generator on there. Boop. That'll make it white. And then we're going to put a, another color generator before it like this. Boop. And we'll make it black like that. And look at that. We have a mat and we can go back to the edit page and I'll just right click and go up to render in place. That's just going to render this really quickly. It's gonna make a ProRes file, which apparently is just fine to do on Windows now, which is crazy. Okay, I'll just put that on my desktop because it's a really, really pro place to keep something. There we go, we have that. Then I'll just right click and go decompose to original. That's going to get rid of that. Go over to the color page, reset all grades and nodes. Great, yay. And then let's just bring in our mat that we made. There we go, just bring this in right over our original clip. Select these both, right click, new fusion clip. Great, that'll bring those both into fusion. Now we have our original clip here with our media in one, and then we have our mat. I'll just rename this. And we could just put our mat right into our media in, go to settings, channel, luminance, and that's going to isolate her hair. So now we have this perfect roto of her hair <laughs> that we can use in fusion. <laughs> it's just so crazy. 
So, I mean, it would be better to have this infusion, but it's not that big of a deal to render out a mat from the color page if you want to use this infusion now, which I know I do, because that's, that's pretty cool. All right, let's throw something just insane at this. Look at this. Here we have this shot of this guy. Really complicated, hard to recognize shapes, lots of motion blur. It's just like the worst thing to try and rotoscope, right? Let's just see what this does here in the color page with our magic mask. Mm, let's find a good frame here where we can see everything. Sure, that works good. I'll just boop this guy. Turn on our mat, boop the bike. Yeah, we'll make this uh, better quality. And that's pretty cool. Has selected the bike pretty well. We can see if we can get rid of the inside the wheels maybe. Once we have a pretty good mat, then we just track that. And it looks like it's selecting the bike and selecting him part of the time. So let's go back here to where it kind of loses him. And I'll just boop him again like this and then keep tracking this forward. Look at that. Gosh, that's wild. Let's go right here to where before it got him, like right there. And we'll boop him again, track it backward. Gives you a little red indicator to show it hasn't been tracked. Look at that. Dude, like what the heck is going on? That's nuts. Okay, let's do the outside thing. Take this off and I don't know, maybe we'll darken it down or something. Take this offset down, maybe make it really blue, purple, more purple. Okay, so we can really see it. Shoot, that just looks pretty great. Isn't that wild? Now there's a little bit, there's a little bit within the bike tires, which I mean, that's just, that's just really next level crazy stuff. But like a lot of the time it actually cuts it out too, but it did a good job with him, a good job with the body of the bike. That's insane. Just make this really easy to see. Crazy, huh? That's pretty crazy. <laughs> For like 10 seconds of work, just wild. So yeah, Magic Mask is, uh, is pretty, pretty cool, pretty great these days. I'm really excited for this update and excited to uh, see it moving into fusion and getting better and being more refined and all of that stuff. Ah, we live in the future. And if you are watching this in the future, don't forget to check out our mini course, whoosh, the amazing graphics in five minutes or less. It's totally free. It's right there. You could also click the link in the description. Okay, either way, <laughs> either path will take you there and you'll be making even better videos in Resolve. Oh, this is so cool. So exciting. I'll see you in there.